Today we are going to learn how to program the MicroCoin QL. The QL is a high-speed 12-coin programmable coin acceptor. You can program up to five tokens of different sizes and denominations. You don't have to program nickels, dimes, quarters, or dollar coins because they have been pre-programmed on lines 7 through 12 and can be turned on or off indefinitely. You can program your QL in three easy steps. In this lesson, you will learn how to set your categories, sample your tokens, and assign a value to those tokens. You will also learn how to enable or disable a token. Let's get started. Step 1. Setting the categories. You begin by pushing the push program button three times. The indicator light will flash orange and the LED display will show the number 1, which indicates that you have programmed the token in category 1. If you have more tokens to program, press the push program button to program the second token in category 2, the third token in category 3, the fourth token in category 4, and a fifth token in category 5. For this lesson, we will program the token in category 1. Step 2. Sampling the tokens. For this step, you will need 10 different tokens. To sample the tokens, drop each token through the reject lever. The token will drop from the coin reject slot. After the tenth token has been sampled, the indicator light will turn a solid orange. Step 3. Assigning a value. To assign a value to your token, you will press the push program button one time. You will see a zero in the LED display, which is the current value of your token. Each time you press the push program button, the value of the token will increase by 25 cents. You can program the token up to $2.50. If you need to program your token for more than $2.50, please contact us and we will help you with that. For this lesson, we will make the value of the token $1. Once you have set your value, press and hold the program push button for 3 seconds. The indicator light will turn a solid green. The Disable Function the disable function gives you the ability to disable a token on a temporary or permanent basis. Press the push program button two times and the indicator light will flash red. Drop the token through the reject lever and the indicator light will turn solid green. The enable function. Use the enable function to reactivate a token that you previously disabled. Press the push program button once and the indicator light will flash green. Drop the token through the reject lever and the indicator light will turn solid green. This token is now ready for use. Now you've seen how easy it is to program the MicroCoin QL. First you set the category for your tokens, then you sample the tokens, and finally you assign a value to the tokens. You also learn how to disable or enable a token. If you have any questions about programming the MicroCoin QL, please contact us at one 800 9221313 and ask for the electronics department